and go from there. I think we can kill them in like two turns. Hopefully. We will see. A little bit scared because they can go kind of crazy on the next turn. All right, it's Serum Snare probably because it proliferates. So we get double tokens if they don't kill this. Oh man, I could actually... I could ultimate. Uh, absolutely. Oh, oh boy. Oh man, that's insane. I forgot about... I'll be honest. I absolutely forgot that I have this card. And oh boy, they're not in a good spot. Uh, let's get the Raskas 4 because this is the most expensive thing. And we can also play the Sorcerer Speed on me. And we start the poison. You know what? Maybe we throw them enough. Hello everyone, it's Love here. And today we will make the most toxic deck in standard. Even more toxicer. It will be more toxic with Jace Reawakened that absolutely fits the deck like a glove. So basically we Aether again cycle the cards that aren't poison. So, you know, you sometimes get flooded with this and one extra poison might mean the difference between winning the game or losing the game. And basically all of our deck is something that we can plot. So the value and tempo you are getting from this one is kind of insane. And you will even see the ultimate for Jace. So it will be pretty glorious. We also have something that is Firex and Horror and the doubles all the periphery tokens. And you can use loyalty from Jace, especially as you usually stack a lot and make it indestructible. So in some matchups, this is absolute a problem for your opponent. Uh, the rest of the deck is kind of a given. We went with the hybrid because I know you guys really like this card. So we were tested. Oh, and there's really cool interaction that I forgot to, to mention. And that was one of the ideas for the deck. You can plot all the periphery cards so they can cast, be cast for zero and then you play the horror and you can cast all of those proliferate cards in one turn especially if your opponent is tapped you get basically twice the value from each card you plot so this can be absolutely devastating play so let's go into games and have fun all right we're going first and honestly i think this is a pretty good opening we'll take it we start with the marsh even though we have pain lots, we don't want to use them unless we really have to and this seems to be a pretty powerful start. The most important part of this deck is always, you know, getting the first poison counter. If you can get it going, a lot of decks simply cannot ignore it. Like, it just keeps stacking and they have no defense against it. Like, it will be really fast here. And if they play something, they just help us because we kill the creature while also ramping our poison. And Celestus is really good for them. Not gonna lie, that's a good one but still a little bit slow yep we definitely go with this one uh, yep up to two bad draw extremely bad draw they are fully tapped let's go like this i don't think they will go super aggressive this is a very nice draw because our draw sucks we are overdoing like plants like crazy man we have nearly half of the draw of plants a closet Okay, I think that's okay. We should be able to work around it. Man, this is actually so good. So... Yeah, we can do it later. Uh, when they try to get it back. Okay, so this will be Jace. Into Raska's 4. No, it will be uh, cycling. I have enough mana. I just need better cards. Uh, let's go for the payland just to make sure we don't whiff. Oh my god, I always forget about it, man. I literally always forget about it. Alright, I wanted to play completely different, but I forgot that even if I cycle with Jace or something, it's still like this, man. At least we get rid of the Akrazad, but I didn't want to run them with untapped mana. So my plan was to play Jace, not go into... Oh my god, he's so good at magic. Uh, it will be anointed with Affliction. Uh, so I wanted to play Jace to prevent the, you know, day-night time, so they don't draw cards. Then during their turn, I will kill Akrazad, it comes tapped and they don't have this mana. That was the play, but, you know, this token really messed me up, because then I cannot go for Raskas 4. Interesting, really? Really? Okay, show me. 
Uh, they cannot activate it because you need to have one card on at least one of the players. And I have four, he has five, so it's basically just a free mana. It's still good for him. Like, he has extra two mana of Celestus and the Temple of the Dead. But it will be hard for him. And having one mana draw two is pretty big deal. If we can hit it. Okay, I will discard land. That's, that's an interesting play. Alright, so I think we should be able to win this game from here. Uh, this is such a problem. Normally I would anoint it with Affliction, kill this and get Liliana with the Raskas thing. But because I kinda messed up it doesn't work. <laughs> did I play land for the turn? I, I don't think I did. Yeah, I think we didn't. So with this we should be able to go around stuff. And we can always plot something. Okay, this is a decent draw. Alright, so this has to be at instant speed. This is really cheap. So let's draw. We will have better, better, uh, you know, choice. I, if I hit untap land, that would be a bit better. I don't think we need to plot. I think we just need to cycle cards. See, this is the type of card you absolutely want to hit. And we take the survey land, because this gives us a better choice for the next turns. So we don't need to draw something like this. This is a proliferate. It really works well with this. So I can go 4 into 2, but it could... Okay, so it's fine. So we get the extra value while we can. Alright, Jace goes up to 5, so they kinda need to think about the, the ultimate. We won't get the ultimate, but you know, you know, they need to be scared of it. They can discard one of the cards. I think it's Anoint with Affliction. They also know about this card. Even though it's a good card, I think we can kill them before it matters. And Akrazot will be pretty late. Yeah, I think if that's their turn, I think they're out. Okay, scary, but not good enough, probably. Man, this bad, I tell you, if I didn't mess it up. <laughs> Honestly, it's still kinda worth it, because I got a new card instead of a land. Okay, they would really try to go for the discard. Let's see if they go for the devil. We absolutely refuse everything. <laughs> we just say nope. Nope. And some nopes. We have so much life, I think we have time. Is my entertainment. Thank you, thank you. So we could make it indestructible, but it's probably too slow. So instead, instead, I think we want to play this into Augury. Plot something and go from there. I think we can kill them in like two turns, hopefully. We will see. A little bit scared because they can go kinda crazy on the next turn. Alright, it's Serum Snare probably, because it proliferates, so we get double tokens if they don't kill this. Oh man, I could actually... I could ultimate. But I don't have spells right now. That would be so fun, man. Alright, so let's start plotting. We have good cards. We go for the most expensive one that they already see. And I mean, now they need to kill this, which wouldn't be, which won't be a problem. The the point is that we need to kill them really quickly. Like they're at six poison, but we need to stack four counters, and they can go minus two and kill this. Man, really good at magic. That's a pure top deck. Are you serious? Into Akrazot. Wow. All right, that's a big deal. They will take Serum Star probably because that's the. Like, if they don't take it, we can get everything back. Alright. They will minus to Liliana and probably plus and plus of Nixlis. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. Just being good at magic with your top card of the deck. We decline. Plead for mercy. Man, I'm not sure if we can do it in time, but I will try. Me, and you they cannot ultimate yet. They are going for the most damage. They cannot kill Jace. And they're like they're not going for one of the plays. The Akrazot will be a huge problem. Oh boy. So how do we do it? 
we definitely start with this and see what happens. Uh, we cannot go for ultimate in any way, so let's start. They probably should go for Liliana. They should keep the board, I think. Okay, this is okay. This is a good choice. Alright, that's a start. I probably want to cycle this Jace. So we go with this. That's a good one, you know? Maybe it will work. Uh, they cannot kill me on the next turn, right? 7, 8, 10 damage. Yeah, that won't be enough. I just need to make sure that I don't draw a, a discard the land. We cycle one of the cards. I don't love it, man. I don't love this. And now the question, do we go with the second hybrid or a counter spell to negate their top deck? They have Liliana. I don't think it will work. I think we're short. This top deck won them their game, I think. Because this is exactly the poison we need. Like, this is literally the card we need. Then we can save our hybrid or kill their Akrazot and, you know, just kind of bounce it. And now I think they can minus two Liliana, kill one of them, use her. Oh, they don't have blood token. <laughs> Your punishment is I might discard it on the second one. They can deal eight damage here. So if we, oh, they, they have one up, man, I, I always miss it. They can still go for Liliana, but they need to play their card first. Is it anyone who discards a land? Open and discards a land card. So if they do it with to Liliana, uh, they don't get the, the bad. Uh, honestly, there are so many top decks that wins us the game, but I'm not sure if we get there. Is that the right play? All right, so that was probably... All right. Okay, maybe we both are whiffing. They can kill one of them. They will probably try to kill Jace. Here we go. Not much of a choice here. Bring the ending is kind of interesting, but in this situation, honestly, it doesn't really work. All right, going face. I think we take the damage, man. I need one proliferate card and I win. Let's go. Just one good top. This is this is the best top deck, honestly. This is like the best top deck. So we attack first. Then they give us this proliferate card. And this is the second one. So we actually drew the right card to win the match. <laughs> Honestly, we had one extra draw with the Jace, so it was a little bit better. They don't have anything, right? We need to proliferate. Let's make sure we don't mess it up. Three or less. Let's go with Celestus, maybe. You know what? I think... Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> I always forget about those guys. And you know what? You deserve some ultimate. So if we are going with the big play, we are going for the big play, and we are getting to 11. You have seen Jace, and with this, we can go up to 13. This is what it means to have good draws with this deck. So we could double this and double this, and instead of basically, you know, hitting 9 and losing the game potentially, we went instantly to 13 because our draw was really good. All right, then our opponent goes first. Let's sit. We don't have too much poison, but we're working on it. Uh, the snare can be very, very good in, in this situation. The problem is that we need to hit the first poison. And our opponent is just full of those two drops on the play. Because he is really good at magic. So we have uh, either Raska's Fall or the Hybrid. If we play Raska's Fall and he plays Geeks, which is the best opening they have. Uh, yep. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> interesting, interesting, so if we go hybrid, I think it can be very problematic for us, honestly, but if they go for two mana removal, they cannot make the play, if they play Geeks, I will give them one card and start the poison train, and I think it's worth it, 
Wow, man, I didn't see so much one mana this card since I started playing this deck. It's incredible. Suddenly everyone plays duresses and, you know, stuff that discards stuff for one mana. Uh, this is exactly what they wanted, uh, because they now have still two mana open. And this is what they wanted. But if they block, we get the stuff back. That's fine. That means we get our creature, uh, or sorry, our poison trigger. And that means whatever they play, it dies. And we start the train. So I think this is kind of good for us. Like, I'm not sure if they played it optimally. Like, they still gave us the, the main play. All right, sure. And we can wait, like every turn we are stacking more and more value. So their next turn can be really powerful. Uh, we can play this, but then we will tap, and I don't think it's worth it. We need to start poison before we do anything else. I actually don't mind being a little bit slow. And now, so they want to play a creature, but if they play some good creature that they really want on board, it just dies for free and they know we want the, the poison train started. So they, they really don't want to play the creature, but then how can they, they kill us? And every turn we get more and more value. I can proliferate. We can always take Takanuma, uh, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. But we can get back uh, the hybrid without really uh, investing anything. And then we can play the hybrid and force the reaction. As you can see, they have creatures, don't you worry, they have very good creatures, and they're just waiting until we play this, so they're like, haha, we got you, but they didn't. Let's go for the channel. They cannot attack, they don't even attack with the cottage because they know, <laughs> they know, man, uh, and we will force them. They probably will kill it at the end step, but, you know, we kind of force the first play. Uh, the cost of basically a land, which we don't really need right now. Like, we, you know, having mana is great. Here we go. Let's sit. Let's sit. Because they don't have blue mana, they cannot prevent this one. So even though it seems that the game is kind of slow, we are basically stacking the poison. And it doesn't matter if we cast it in seven different turns, or we do all of this in three turns, basically. So we are kind of getting lethal. So they need to remove it. That's a huge deal. Alright, that's a good draw. This is always... This will absolutely get killed, man. No chance. Like, this is way too important. Alright, sure. And the problem for them... I guess I could play this, and if I draw a land... I'm kind of okay with this. They probably will try to get rid of the hybrids. It's still good for them, because we need to overpay the mana, and I really want to hit one land. Perfect. That means we have this open and we keep developing while also, you know, uh, we keep the... <laughs> I lose train of thought so often. So we we increase our power, get extra cards, we'll, which will draw extra draw cards like uh, Augury and uh, Curiosity. And he's just waiting here until we waste our removal and we will never do it. He kind of went for the strategy that works against worse player, but here it just doesn't work very nice uh, so i think we counter it we have so many cards we don't want to lose them cool very nice <laughs> very nice let's get some non-land stuff oh boy this is huge i wish i had it in the uh, in the hand right now i'll take it i'll take it all right so what is the strategy they might have more than one that would be probably scary because we don't have counter spells right now and they are waiting man oh boy they are waiting <laughs> but how will you so we have already like five or six proliferate targets and every turn it's getting better for us and here we go this is the card they think uh, that we are waiting and nothing will happen. So we will go with the huge poison on this turn and their strategy fully fizzled. And this is just a matter of time when we draw it. And the chain has started, they tried to prevent it, it doesn't work. Now we can really go all in. And it doesn't stop. What they tried to postpone is still here. Uh, absolutely. 
Oh, oh boy, oh man, that's insane. I forgot about, I'll be honest, I absolutely forgot that I have this card. And, oh boy, they're not in a good spot. And this is why we want, see, we postponed for so long and look at this board right now. We have so much value. They, they won't be able to beat it. I wanted to go for the dominos, but we have so many plays that we just want to starve them out of cards. That's it. Oh, that's so cute. All I see is target for sacrifice. Sure, sure. I don't see a game-winning combo still. Oh man, he won't like this turn. <laughs> he won't like this turn. <laughs> All right, let's go with the snare. Also, this will be one mana, which is even better. Yep. Proliferate is higher value and they're very heavily tapped, but not fully. And we want to be mana. This is insane. Man, they are so dead. It's not even close. It's not even close. We will actually proliferate on this turn probably for two at least. So let's attack. They need to react to at least one of them. Oh no, they are so dead, man. So we go for this. And I mean, we probably go with this. Theoretically, they might kill us in one turn. You know, they might actually do it. Okay, that's a little bit scary when I think about it. Because they have enough mana for Bloodletter into the combo and that seems to be a huge part of their deck. However, we killed one part of the combo. Alright, here it is. And they have the perfect mana. Alright, but they don't have the card. They don't have the card and we have double proliferate, so that means whatever they do, yeah, and if they try to go for it, uh, target creature, all right, and they fight, absolutely, go for it, my friend, that's funny, so when this dies, I proliferate and I get it back for the next turn, oh man, that was, that was really brutal, however, if they had the combo, they would be in a good spot, all right, we finally have a Jace, it will be a rough game. We will be under a lot of pressure extremely quick. We probably need the land. And this is such a good card overall. Listen, I'll try it, but it might be rough. We probably play... Well, we cannot play Jace right now. So let's see. Uh, so it's humans, right? I think it's, not, you know, the human deck. Here we go. All right, but maybe a star that gives us some leverage. And with double card, we should be able to hit some lands for the next... It will be hard, but I can see us winning. The Vampire. Alright, so we need to kill it with Drowned Acre. I mean, that kind of aligns nicely. They, then, they don't really get any value. We can cycle the card. I just need a land. That would be really important. Like, we don't want to miss them. Thank you. Thank you, Gods of Magic. You are absolutely amazing. Even though we cannot use it now, it's super important right now. So no, we start from there. That means they cannot train uh, the initiate, which is kind of important. They don't draw the card advantage, which makes their draws just just worse. Uh, land. Okay, so they try to hit a land from the top. So we know the next card is not a land. They would play it from the top. Oh boy, that's uh, a little bit wonky. I can hit a land. There is no way I'm missing the land, right? Please don't miss a land. I always do. All right, we are going with this one <laughs> because this will be one mana when we finish proliferating, but we kind of whiffed big time right now. Are you serious, man? Three lands in one fourth of my deck. I'm drawing 50% of my lands right now, uh, like at the normal rate. And honestly, with this, I think we lost. We cannot miss lands like this, especially against so much pressure. Like, it doesn't seem like a lot of pressure, but it will go crazy in very quick turns. Like, they already can have the Coven, so they can start playing stuff for the from the top. Okay, this isn't a different power, and this will be a 2 if they attack. So, not yet, but we we are the deck that doesn't play sweepers. We're going to go card for card. We, we, so, the moment you stop playing your cards is insanely bad for you. Well, that's that would be great if it was faster. So this is worth already 8 damage. This is so harsh, man. 
Jace, you need to make some miracles right now. Some absolute miracles. Let's go for one of the four. It's the most mana efficiency we can get. And I mean, we go Augury into something. I'm not sure if we can win so quick, man. This is the this one turn that we missed. And their opening here on this last turn was absolutely insane. Like they prob they played what? Six mana of creatures, right? They still have all the same power, which is kind of weird. Uh, we have to counter it, right? Well, this is 8 damage. Can I leave 2 turns? So I counter it, I go for Raska's 4, I draw at least 1 remover, right? So I can kill 3 creatures basically, so it's 8 and 4. Kinda works, you know? Let's go. I don't love this play. Oh my god, this would be even closer. I don't love this play, but we kinda need to win somehow, right? And maybe they hit the Jace, and we have another one. So that absorbs a lot of damage, so they probably won't be able to kill us in the next turn. They know how threatening the Jace can be. The treasure tokens are not great, I, I don't love them. Well, a little bit late, but we'll take it. We will try to take it. So they have some instant. I have no idea what this, what this is. Uh, let's get the Raskas 4, because this is the most expensive thing. And we can also play the Sorcerer's Pit only. And we start the poison. You know what? Maybe we slow them enough. I think it's initiate, like no questions asked. They have a lot of mana, so it might be a problem. However, if we can defend nicely, we have a lot of poison. I think we can get to, you know... I'm not sure, I hope we can get to 10. Alright, this is pretty slow. So they will cycle the card, let's see if they draw a land here. They really want to get this extra value from the Augur. And I need one extra turn and, that, and then we win. We just need to survive for one extra turn. I think they will double hit Jace. Which means we kill one of the creatures with the affliction. And then we don't die. Yeah, this is good. I think this is more problematic. The man, everything is two mana. Do we really not go with it? This improves their draws quite a lot. But so far they are not getting any value, honestly. I will go with the vampire. I'm not sure if that's the good call, but I will take it. That means we can plot an additional card. So we are at 7. Man, this is so close. The treasure tokens do not help. Gala greeters, alright. This, this grows, but it's pretty... Oh my god, this is the worst draw ever. Alright, alright. It's not over, it's not over. I mean, let's start with the free stuff. Then we probably go Augury, and we see, we see what we get. We can cycle one of the cards, or we can plot one of the cards. I mean, this is the card. Alright, so we want this. Uh, sure, I forgot I can proliferate Jace. That's pretty decent. So I Serum Snare one of them. Oh boy, do we plot? Do we plot? Listen, if we plot, but we probably cannot cycle cards, we can do one of them. Sorry, bro, I need to think. If we cycle it, can we play all of the new cards? We Serum Snare one of them, probably sacrifice Jace. Yeah, I kind of think it's good. We need to get this last poison triggers, and that should be fine. Sketchy. If we draw a land, we can play 5 mana of spells on the next turn. If they don't kill Jace, we can also do it. The more they invest into Jace, the more we have time. And right now they cannot kill us. If they go all in, we can Serum Snare the Bristly Beer, because that's probably the card that will be the, the biggest. Oh, it's on target creature. Alright. 
They don't have the Coven, so they cannot play stuff yet. Good, they are attacking, so now I can make my decision. Full face. Alright. Oh man, this is actually pretty good. I forgot about why they are not using it. This is such a good synergy. Uh, this is 3 mana, this is 3 mana and more damage. They will get those treasures, but I think we go like this, man. This will be weird, because I kinda have to counter something to get this proliferate token. Or counter, sorry. Man, this is so close. Imagine if we ha didn't miss this one land drop, that would be so much easier. Jace really helped. But I don't think we have enough time, because we missed this one turn. I don't think they realize how their deck works. They basically check the top card. If that's not a good card, they sacrifice this with... Uh, sorry, they sacrifice this with this. They exile the top card and the new card can be a land. And this is kind of how they should be rolling. I don't think I have enough. I need to go like this. And this will be the one turn we are missing. Oh, this is actually really bad. Yeah, that's kind of it, right? We will get very nicely close, but this is this is the last. This is the one turn we missed. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but when you get mana screwed, it's so so hard to get back into the game, man. Like you're you're just so behind on everything. Your opponent just played two extra creatures, and suddenly you are always two creatures, two removal short on everything. And you know that against aggro decks you cannot fall behind because they just keep hitting. Like, if they have one creature, uh, you can just kill it every turn when they play a new one and you are okay. But when they have three creatures and you kill one of them, you get so much extra damage every turn that it just, you know, runs you over basically. And this is what is going on. Uh, so twos and threes, they still, they never activate, they really don't play this deck very well. The whole point of this deck is putting counters in such a weird way that you get the coven, so you can just draw extra cards. Yeah, they should put one on the paragon and then something on the two one. Or two two, whatever. Yeah, like they have so many creatures, it doesn't matter. They never use this ability, which is one of the big ways to enable the deck. And they are not hitting the top decks, so they definitely need it. Though no point in casting Reject Imperfection. Like, I kinda need to hope that he will believe that I can survive this turn. Like, it's, it's just bad. We won't win this, but you know, I'm trying my best. You, you can beat everything, but not bad Shuffler draw. This is something that will always decide your game. And you just need to roll the dice again. Look at this. This was the extra turn. This was literally the extra turn we missed. We were at 9 poison. And that was our win. We lacked 2 mana to play this. Man, this is so sad. We should win this game. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you lose moment you lose a land drop. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the deck. This is probably one of the most requested decks and you can already go for the game of spot the difference between the intro and the outro. This will be the decklist that you are seeing. And what's the difference? Nobody sees... Man, I somehow forget to include Mirex in this deck. So you know what? The deck is even better than you have seen in the video because then you have Mirex and this is sometimes this last poison counter that you are missing. So I, I have no idea how I missed it. So what about the rest of the deck? How is Jace performing? And I'll tell you, in my opinion, Jace made this deck just better. It's extremely good fit because first you need sometimes, you know, just removal, like, you know, anoint with affliction, sometimes counter spells, but for the other situations, one extra poison is all you need to win the game and when you can get this extra card a turn it makes all the difference and sometimes you are in the situation when you have you know too much of a value in a, in a hand especially with things like distorted curiosity that sometimes it's not as easy to you know get the discount for uh, sometimes jace can really unclock your hand it, like you know two turns and you are actually you know on curve with everything you don't have you know any five spells lurking in your hand that you cannot cast 
and basically this is the only card we cannot use with Jace plot. Of course there are some you don't want to use like reject imperfection because after plotting you can cast it at sorcery speed so of course it doesn't work for everything but even cards like Raska's Fall that we probably plotted the most in, in the videos today in the video today uh, I think it's worth it because even if you lose instant speed you get gain three mana that's huge that's very often like most of your turn man so honestly this deck feels better uh, one of the things so I think we need to talk about those two cards honestly this usually gave us a double proliferate so in a way it's four mana poison card that they also need to answer uh, was that the best card ever probably not you you get real value when you have eight mana you cast this and double proliferate spell like you know augury into drone unique or something like this when they are tapped and you have 100 percent sure that you are getting those triggers and that will be four poison instead of two as normally and this is where the card shines you can also make it indestructible but it's only relevant for some of the matchups and you already need the jays going so you know the interaction is nice but it won't be something you do every game it's it's kind of hard to use and one of the problems with standard is that if you play little creatures they have insane amounts of removal so this version kind of kind of makes more sense because even though this is a creature one of the few you still have the hybrids and they get back with proliferate so you very often drain your opponent from the removal so this can shine and in the end game like a shoulder just carried the whole game however um so while i like kind of like this one it's you know situational but it can really work nicely and i like the card personally i didn't really like the hybrid to be honest like i always get recommendations about this card in the comments but usually it just dies it's super hard to get it to hit even once and if it dies to cut downs you are also mana behind so to be absolutely honest, I would probably get more poison cards instead of it. I'm not sure which ones, because we have all the best ones. The Auguri, this is literally your best card in the deck. And uh, Fire Resist is also pretty nice, so it's hard to get something. Don't forget things like Serum Snare can be ignored, because uh, your opponent can use a cutdown on his own creature, then he negates the proliferate, and this could be his 10th poison counter. So you kinda need to be careful about it. I would need to think about this one, but maybe there's something better. Uh, but or generally I really like the deck and I really think Jace made it better so if you were a fan now you will be fun even more so guys I hope you enjoyed the video we are trying different things so if it's worth something consider subscribing liking and sharing the video with your friends really helps the channel and just want to say a huge thank you for you guys uh, like we are we are having fun every single day uh, I know you enjoy Demir which is something that always warms my heart because I'm a huge Demir fan and yeah just super happy to share those, ga those games with you so thank you for this and yeah that's about it for today and see you guys tomorrow.